No matter where you live, you have some kind of space to keep, whether it is a tiny place in the city or a big Victorian in town or a little farmhouse, whether you are a mom with six little kids or a wife, there is a home to keep, which means that there are the same endless tasks that happen every single day, dishes, making food, making the bed, Sometimes it can feel a little repetitive, but there is always beauty to be found in all of these little moments throughout the day as we make our homes. So today I want to take you along on a day of homemaking. I have food to make, a cow to milk. I'm sure lots of stuff will come up that I'm not even thinking about. I also want to freshen up a few things. As the summer has gone, we have just been super busy just yesterday, we went out all day with my sister and her family and did a river day where we just take the kids and swim, soaking up those last few weeks of summer. And so a lot of the home is neglected. I find that when I'm in the home all day during the winter, I'm better about putting blankets on the couch and the pillows. And then in the summer, I just leave it undone for months on end. So today I'm gonna take a little time just to be in my home and straighten things up. The painting that I meant to hang upstairs is still sitting down here. I showed it to you in my antique haul. It's just still sitting in the same spot that it was when I showed it to you a couple weeks ago. So we are going to get that up. I have some photos that I took of the boys in the bathtub I wanna hang in their room. I want to do a little bit of work on my kitchen cabinets. The finish on them just was never right from the beginning. I've already touched them up a few times and so I'm gonna actually get some sandpaper out and some cabinet paint and touch up all the spots that are showing. I want to get some flowers around the farmhouse. We have a garden just overflowing with them and so often I don't even take the time to bring them in and truly enjoy them. I enjoy them when I walk by them to go do my chores in the barn, but I want to just freshen up this home today and take you along with me.
After I clean a cast iron skillet, I like to get it really hot over the flames in order to make sure it's dry before stacking it with the other skillets. And I usually will go on with some kind of seasoning oil or oil, just wipe it down and then stack them up. dive clean here on the kitchen. That wasn't really my plan, but before I bring in flowers and all of that, I thought that it would just be really nice to get this place really clean. We usually do one big clean every other week in the kitchen. So we do once a week, clean everything upstairs, bathrooms, bedrooms, and then once a week downstairs. But I wanted to talk a minute about keeping a rug under the kitchen table. I've had a lot of questions about this and we've had one for probably 10 years now. We had a jute rug under the dining table in our last farmhouse. And then in this one, we have this vintage Turkish rug. Now I have at points been frustrated with the rug under the kitchen table because the thing about it is it'll never be perfectly clean. It just won't. There will be little spots here and there. And really it turns out I'm just mostly okay with that. There are times when it gets pretty dirty and I think, you know what, I'm just gonna get something vinyl like I just put on the front porch. So I have my vinyl floor mat that looks like a rug, but it stays clean and I very well might still do that. But then I just love the texture of this rug and I find it so pretty. It isn't this perfectly clean white rug, which would probably look horrible if it's a little bit dirty, whereas this one, it doesn't really show everything. Now what I do is I spot clean it just occasionally. So probably about once a week, I see a few spots, I wipe it up with a rag, and when it dries, it actually becomes amazingly clean. So I have this cycle where I'm like, oh man, the rug looks so dirty, I'm getting rid of it and getting a vinyl. And then I'll just spot clean it really quick and then walk back an hour later, and once it's dried, I'm like, oh, we could live with this a little, little while longer. So probably with a thorough clean, because we've had this for, I don't remember when I actually put this in here, but I, I wanna say like around two years, I think it would last just really long time because I actually still like how it looks right now and I've done nothing very official. I just do like a little spot clean here and there, wipe up like if a kid's spilled something like that's stuck in there, I'll usually get a really wet rag, let it sit there for a little bit and then it'll soak and then I'll wipe it up, vacuum it once a week. I actually talked about borrowing my friend's steam cleaner so I might do that, but it actually holds up really well. It just depends on how okay you are with something not being perfectly clean and then like the vibe of your house. So I don't have this perfect house. Everything has a little bit of age and wear, and so it fits in, but in some houses it might not. I will say that the jute rug held up even better. So it didn't really show anything, like the crumbs kind of nestled down in it, which sounds gross, but they come up when you vacuum. And so it actually made almost it a little bit easier than not having the rug 
because I didn't have to sweep every time, I just vacuumed once a week. So that's an option to consider as well. I just wanted to really quick show how bad this is. Okay, this looks so much better. It just took a little bit of my time here in the afternoon. Jobs like this are funny because if you're like me, you think about a lot because I'm in the kitchen, I'm doing dishes, I'm cooking, I'm cleaning, and I see these cabinets that need to be touched up. And every time I see it, I think of it. And then ultimately it takes an hour to really fix the situation. So in all reality, you should really one should, I should, do this more often. Just have a paintbrush and some paint. And yes, it bugs me that the finish was never quite right, but I can make a significant improvement with just a tiny bit of time. It's not really ultimately that big of a problem. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, hopefully before all the kids wake up from nap, is fluff the living room. And then probably when they get up, we'll go outside, I'll make some flower arrangements, add those throughout, and I'm feeling a lot better about the state of this house. Oh dear, I honestly didn't know I was coming into this, but. <laughs> I've had a lot of people ask me how my couches that I painted are holding up. They're actually holding up really well as far as the paint and the fabric goes. I will say that I've had some of these come loose, so I'm gonna use some of this fabric fusion. And then I'm also going to get Luke's staple gun and try to get these to stay hopefully a little bit better this time. Another thing that I've just been pushing off that won't take me very long to fix, that makes my living room look really junky, that doesn't have to. <laughs> Than Danny. No, no, than both of them. Right here ish. And then Danny.
I am testing a pumpkin pasta sauce for the blog. I showed you that in the recent video. So I'm just gonna get some pasta going. I have meatballs in the oven. I got some pumpkin pasta sauce and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. I forgot to take a video of the food because I was too busy photographing it for my fall menu plan, but it was really good. We all really loved it. Thank you for joining me on this day of homemaking. Got a lot of those loose ends tied up like the art that was sitting in the corner. Just all I had to do was take it upstairs. <laughs> I listed a few things on Facebook Marketplace because there are some things that I swapped out that have just been sitting there that I never put in the basement. And they just need to go. I hung up the photos of the boys that I've been, they've just been sitting in a pile and we need to hang them up. Painted the cabinets, got everything clean. We still have to do our evening chores, which will take probably about 20 minutes. After that, I'm ready to put my feet up and just relax. But well, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.